right guys what's going on this is a collection update or my display update as you can see down here i'm working on some reviews so it just shows you i don't have much space in this house <laughs> with, with all these kids um, it's in, almost impossible to have your own space so I, I don't have my own studio so i just make a sh do a makeshift studio here so, but i just want to show you what i have currently and you can see bumblebee in here from 3a and this is the display case that i do have let's see let's open this one up you know what let me put the aperture a little bit higher here see you guys okay so you got the keanu reeves and you can see on the back he i got the uh, gun case that i got from ebay for pretty cheap i think it's a dollar so you can hang your guns in there I'm using this LED lights, just strip lights, no big deal. Uh, I like it because, you know, from afar, they look kind of clean. There's no wires running around and all that stuff. Although I, I, could, I could do a little better, but so far it's been it's working well for me. Down here, he needs his own display uh, case right here, his own spot, which is uh, Jack Sparrow. His got a beautiful display base and that guy got a blue tack down on the back looks nice in here and on the third shelf did they, they, this one used to be on my top shelf right here but you know as time goes on kind of want to mix things around so you got alfred this is not dx12 this is uh, i got the dx12 base but he is not he is uh the armory batman and Catwoman in the back. And at the bottom, you'll see uh, Blake Gordon. You see Armored Bats. Commissioner Gordon. And the Bat Signal. Right there. So moving on. I only have three Detolfs, actually. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I like the Dark Knight. So these guys right here is the Armory Batman alfred this guy right here is from uh an old i forgot the set before it's uh some studio that i bought it for 40 dollars and i i replaced because that batman was too nice to just keep in that armory and you got bruce wayne right here at the bottom you got the new two-face from uh, hot toys the updated version Still the uh, older Bane. And you got the everlasting DX11 Joker that I do love. Just simple, this uh, simple pose with all them three. Right here at the bottom, you got the Bank Robber Joker 2.0. Demon Bats, still in pretty nice shape, honestly. And you got Scarecrow right here from the uh, 10th anniversary batman and as you can see bank robber 2.0 kind of messed up his pose but i kind of have to race the shelf here at the bottom so that's why they're a little bit cramped up but it's okay because at the bottom you got kind of mixture of uh, some guys in here they're just too nice not to display so i got zod one of the underrated figures of all time i would say um mime joker was I remember I got this for pretty cheap. They were practically giving this away, and now I'm, I'm kind of glad that I didn't. And my strip is coming apart here. And you got the crow, which is um, a pretty nice figure, but I have heard reports where his pleather is uh, kind of acting up, you know. So be mindful if you are planning to get him. Uh, he is uh, a little bit delicate, I would say. So these are the guys, and right here, at this stage, you got pretty much the most recent ones. Not Man of Steel. He is a placeholder for the Justice League Superman. He got Justice League Wonder Woman, which is, um, I can't display that thing. <laughs> it's just hard to pose. Um, you get Batman Tactical at the bottom shelf at the second shelf and you got the uh mother box 
for both items. And in here you got Flash, Bruce Wayne, and Aquaman from Justice League right there in the back. Never really had a chance to post him as of yet. So I just kept his head in here. Sorry for the dirty shelf. I, haven't, I kind of moved around things. And in here, Suicide Squad. You got Purple Coat Joker. Uh, Deadshot. And Harley Quinn right there. I should elevate him because he's not... You know, he's already darker colored and uh, you can't see him from the back. But in here, I'm going back to kind of like the Dark Knight, sort of. So I got the DX11 diorama and I created another Joker. If you uh, want the formula, I think I made a video like three years ago. And in here you got the Leto Joker, which I think was pretty nice. Honestly, you know, you might not, you might hate the movie, but I kind of created this scene where they're, he's laughing at him. But, and in here, you got uh, Hulk and Bruce Banner. Uh, I'm using this, uh, this case for quarter scale, I believe they're master light box. And the one that you're hearing on the background is my uh, 3D case from 3DHK. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check out some of my older videos. The most recent one, I believe, is I, uh, I got, I think, Doctor Strange in there. So... my uh, trio of Jordan, Pippin, and Rodman. So basically it's a, it's a 3D case with kind of projects. So that's playing in the background and you got the championships, MVPs, and several trophies from Enter Bay. That's the light. I don't know if you can hear the sounds, but it's a pretty cool case. And in here you got Kobe. And the uh, Michael Jordan again, the younger Kobe. The one on top, you can see uh, just three Hall of Armor. And then I did put some uh, spotlights on the bottom. That's Mark 7. I got War Machine and Mark 4. Unfortunately, I don't think I can put one more, like a, like a little space on each side. But hey, maybe I'll, I'll mix up my displays later on and then here I don't know if you could see but I got Uncharted and uh, Ryu from Street Fighter for us you know I also collect video game collectors edition and here I got the uh, my headphones and uh, the uh, Thanos quarter scale and here I got the arcade one-up Mortal Kombat and um, this messy desk right here which is I'm doing some reviews so far and some shoes from Enter Bay as well. Man, I was lying. But, oh, I almost forgot. So this is how it looks like from afar. I'll step a little bit outside here. So that's my little corner. If you take out the umbrella. On oh, the top part, you got some Star Wars going on. You got Han and Chewie in the back from... Uh, so if you don't hear me all that well, because the mic is kind of far from me now, let's close this one out. This uh, R2 is from Spiro, I believe the company is, where you use an app. You got Vader in the back from A New Hope. Darth Maul, which is one great figure. Um, Boba Fett, you know, with Sarlacc Pit. Uh, you got Star-Lord's uh, chest plate there. Anakin. Finn, they're a little cramped up. You got Ray and BB-8 in here. I got the Force Awakens Kylo Ren. I just think that's badass more than the other figure of Kylo. And you got the uh, Stormtroopers in the back. All right, so there's another uh, few display pieces, but I'll be on the other room. All right, going on to the second part of the room, which is basically a closet. And um, you know what? It's all right. I don't have enough space, but let's start off on the front end here. So, okay, so these guys right here. Uh, Daredevil. And you got Punisher. 
and Deadpool, which is right, probably not the safest way, right next to this uh, exhaust. And you got an, I got an extra stand there, and you got Kratos from God of War, The Rock. Uh, I don't know if you, if anyone has played this game. This is a terrific game. Um, Heavy Rain. That's that's a beautiful game, and some dice from Duke Nukem. And this is Arkham. And on this side, you got some uh, random stuff. You got Dante, King Kong, and that's Marcus Phoenix from Gears of War. And on the back, you have some, uh, you can't see it, uh, Injustice. Right here, now you got uh, Luke Skywalker. And here you got the uh, BB-8. And the Dark Knight Rises. You got the deluxe version of Luke. With this beautiful base. And you got what we call the farm boy Luke. So this is the evolution of Luke Skywalker for me. Which is really nice if you ask me. That's a nice display right there. And going down now here. Uh, you do have... And I'm gonna move forward, back, move back a little bit here, but you can see Crow, and I believe he is Celtic Predator. I forgot, he's a predator. But <laughs> yep, right there. Are some th those are not included in his accessories. I just got them separately. You got Christopher Reeve's Superman with a Fortress of Solitude on the back. This just fits perfectly in here. And you got Leonidas and Themistocles from Star Ace, which is beautiful pieces. Now at the bottom here, I got my NBA guys. Oh, you can't see them fully. It's it's a shame. You got James Harden and Russell Westbrook, who are teammates again. And here you got Steph Curry and from all this is all from Enter Bay and John Wall. And here you got LeBron and Carmelo, the uh, banana boat buddies. At the bottom here, you got uh, Mortal Kombat. I believe this was from the PlayStation 3 Collector's Edition. These are bookends, um, which is really nice. You can see uh, Scorpion. So what happens is if you get books in the middle, you know, you kind of get he gets hit with that, that spear. On the back, it, it's the Aliens Colonial Marines, and it's a power loader. And here you got Agent 47 Hitman. That's a beautiful piece right there. And um, God of War with Kratos and Atreus. And these are the trinkets from the Collector's Edition. And moving down here, you got these are oldies from PlayStation 4. Um, Nathan Drake. And uh, this is a diorama that my uncle built for me. Uh, that is um, in just... No, um, I forgot the name. But the one on the back, that's uh, Far Cry 4. These are the NECA Turtles with Splinter, Shredder, and the two foot soldiers in the back. In here you got, in all the way in the back you'll see um, Max Payne from Max Payne 3 from PlayStation 3. You got Mike Tyson from Storm Collectibles. Um, this is Arrow from Star Ace and this is the uh, hand from Metal Gear Solid. Now moving up to here. Oh, I for, almost forgot. This is Batman from, uh, I believe, Arkham Knight. And at the bottom here, this is the second Batman. And this is the case for the uh, Metal Gear Phantom Pain, I believe. Uh, collector's Edition. And this is Spider-Man. Uh, Blu-ray Special Edition case. Going on this end, you got Black Panther. These are my Marvel guys in um, Hawkeye, Spider-Man, Advanced Suit, Spider-Man 2. Uh, you get Nick Fury in the back. They're a bit congested here. Um, Doctor Strange, Home Suit made Spider-Man. Thanos. Oop, that's my shadow. See Thanos there. Loki. And uh, some Chitauris out there. Overall, 
They look pretty cool. Uh, Black Panther. I turned on the uh, UV light. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah. And in here, I got my, I guess, Infinity War, guys. So you got Thor, Iron Spider. You got Iron Man, Mark 50, the Captain America that no one likes, uh, the bearded cap. You got Bucky, Star-Lord. He's not from, um, you know, his base is basically from Guardians 2, but that's okay. I got a Black Widow here. And on this side, at the bottom, you'll see I got the... Uh, see, I'm running out of space. So this is the uh, 1 9th Enter Bay Hoop. The... I only use this throne basically for photo shoot. The camo tumbler, and this is the bat pod, which is nicely tucked inside there. You know, it's unfortunate that I can't display all of these guys. And going now to my NBA peeps in here. So I got Steph Curry, uh, Shaq, more Shaq. And this is the uh, Storm Collectibles Hoop. I got Kobe Bryant version 2 with a trophy. Some of my jerseys that I do have. And moving up here now is we'll see Olympic Mike Tyson. This is the undisputed champion Mike Tyson. And on the back you'll see some Star Ace goodness there which is uh, Jules and Vince. On the back you got I believe there's 3-0 um, Jesse and Heisenberg. You got some Terminator guys, which is Oh Daryl in the back, which is a pretty cool figure itself. So we got Terminator 2 Battle Damage, Terminator 1, Terminator Genesis. The one in the back you'll see it's the T1000 liquid form. You got Jorel. I don't know if you can see in the back, I created a new, uh, a second, I don't want to waste the uh, DX13 basically, so I created a second Arnold there. You got some so-so toys, Wolverine, in the back another, uh, I believe X13 is his name, or X23, Dennis Rodman, Scottie Pippen, all my Chicago Bulls, you know, you got some, you got to show some love for Chicago. Some more Enter Bay figures, some Jordan still here from a rookie version. Then I got King Theoden, the one on the back. Uh, another, this is all Asmus collectibles now. You got Legolas, Gandalf, some Hobbits right here. Saruman, that is a beautiful figure as well. And Frodo, you can't see Sam, he's like tucked away inside there. And this is the Aragorn, I don't have the proper Aragorn yet, but hopefully soon uh, Asmus would create one. Gothmog, that is uh, Bard the Bowman. You can't see in the back, I suppose, well maybe I'll go in here. Uh, Grishnak is on the back he is a pretty cool figure as well one of the best that had i mean asmus has ever made and this guy right here nazgul that is a beautiful looking figure with the horse and this is a uh from war of the north which is one of the uh, one of the good games that i played back in playstation 3. i don't know if i showed like dirk Nowitzki back in back out there but yeah, here it goes. So this is, I guess a larger part of my collection is just stored away in this closet, which is unfortunate, but you know, when, if, if you don't have a big space, this is what happens. It gets tucked away and I wouldn't say forgotten. I don't have any collectibles that is um, in a box because I, I just, I just want them to be accessible whenever I want to take pictures of them or whatnot. I want them to be, you know, just out there. But, you know, I wish I could display all of them. You know what? Honestly, I don't want to display all of them. They're, they're, they're going to occupy a huge chunk of the household. So I'm happy where they're at. Uh, but I, these guys are, you know, being used when I take photographs. But 
you know, I wish I have, I guess, more space, but so far it's okay. It works out for me. The shelf could have been better. I'm thinking of uh, getting a new shelf, but there you go, guys. So this is basically the collection. Um, I know some some collectors out there have a better setup. I again, maybe when I when we move out, but I would say this is a uh, a more realistic setup for most of us collectors whose space is always limited, but keeps on buying toys. So this shelf right here so i just want to give you an idea this table is from ikea this is perfect if you have a tumbler ideally you don't put so many figures on top so you can see the bottom but you know it is what it is and in here this shelf as i believe i got it from target now a one six scale wouldn't fit on this um, cabinet but as you can see i got more video game collectibles the one on top uh, I bought them at Sideshow a long time ago. I think they're still selling them, but they're, they're nice, especially if you have a few of them. They're kind of expensive though. I think they're $70 a pop compared to a Detolf, which is like $80 and you can put, basically there's four tiers. But that is it guys. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. You wanna, when I look at my statistics, most of the viewers are not even subscribers. You know, it won't cost you anything. So please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Hit that, hit that bell button so you get notification anytime that I upload new videos. Um, like this video, share it, um, or dislike it if you don't like my setup, which I totally would understand. Uh, and I would see you guys in the next video. Thank you.